Welcome back and thanks so much for staying with us. Now, Disney's Lion King South Africa was one of the most successful musical theater shows ever to hit our shores and ran for longer than any other show. It has since been performed in Taiwan and is moving to Singapore to open early next year with a cast and crew of almost 200 South Africans. One of the lucky fish, Dupree Strauss, one of the youngest orchestra conductors ever to conduct the Lion King, joins us this morning. Dupree, welcome and thanks so much. Thank you. You so are much. part of the crew. You uh, producing a live show for at least eight months and then this opportunity comes about. How did it happen? Well initially um, I was studying orchestra conducting in New York when uh, an aunt of mine told me that Lion King was going to happen in South Africa, do I even know about it? And um, I emailed Lebo M, one of the composers, didn't hear back from them, and then suddenly got a call to say that I must come for an interview at a very expensive hotel. So next thing I was like playing b on the grand piano in the marble ballroom and got a call and ended up doing Lion King for almost a year in Johannesburg. Yeah, but you're not only a pretty face, you're also regarded as one of the most intellectual young people as part of Mensa, the International Association of, of uh, highly intelligent people. What, what else are your credentials? Well, look, I'm a musician in, in the broad sense of the word. So apart from conducting the Lion King, there's also like a, a solo career. There's a there's a band going called Zombie Vampire with a friend of mine, Stanimir Stoikov, a filmmaker. So there's a lot of things going on, but um, for the Next year, I'll probably be mostly busy with Lion King in Singapore. Okay, but what does the job actually entail besides holding a white stick? Look, I'm going to be playing um, piano for the um, for uh, rehearsals for the first three months. We're rehearsing for a full three months, and then um, the the show starts, and I'll be sharing the conducting podium with Richard Montgomery from Sydney, Australia. So we'll both be conducting, but it's 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 a grueling job. Eight shows a week, every week for at least a year. Yeah. So we kind of have to share the, the duties. All right, but you won't be lonely. There are fellow South Africans going with you. Yeah, we'll be, all be staying in the same hotel for at least the first four months while we're rehearsing. Mm. So it, it, it feels like being back at university, staying in a, in a res, you know, with all your friends around you. Like there's a party in a different hotel room every night. Yeah. So it's very exciting. It's really cool also to go to other countries with your friends because I know if, obviously most of the people going with yeah, Lion King. But it's an, an incredible opportunity for you and it's not necessarily the brain drain. I'm sure there's a part of you that will be left in South Africa. Uh, is it difficult to go? It, I think I'm going to definitely miss South Africa because I've been on tour for a very long time in my life, like on and off for weeks or sometimes months at a time. So I will definitely miss South Africa and I will always regard South Africa as my home. I will always come back, even though I might be now out of the country for at least a year. Yeah, so it's not the brain drain. You're not running away because of all sorts of other uh, negative press that the country Absolutely is. not. I would definitely prefer, because I've lived in many countries, like in addition to New York, I've also lived in London for maybe like three years altogether yeah. and um, extended periods of time in, 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 in Asia. But I always come back to South Africa and I always regard myself as, yeah. as a South what African. What does it mean to be the youngest conductor to ever preside over the orchestra for the Lion King? Look, I don't know if I'm the youngest anymore, but when I started three years ago on it, I was definitely one of the youngest ever. So that was kind of like, I don't know, stressful, yeah. stressful. Because if you walk up to the podium, there's 3,000 people in the audience, or in, Ta in the case of Taiwan, 6,000 at a time in a big arena. And then Lebo M comes up to you to say, okay, look after my show. Yeah. It's all in your hands. The stress, it's, it's hard to explain how stressful it is. Yeah. But I mean, I've obviously kind of made it work for myself. But it's worthwhile. It's worthwhile, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, any other projects that you're working on besides the Lion King of that uh, taking center? Well, state? I've been working on Sunrise now for the last five months, and it's been so great to work with you guys. It's really a pity that I have to leave, but it, it was a hard decision to make. But I've had, I've had so much fun working on Sunrise. And let me tell you, working on live TV is probably more stressful than working on a live theater show. Yeah. Because you have to come up with new content every day. And in the case of, of The Lion King, we're so well rehearsed by the time we start. The elephant did once fall into the orchestra pit, so things do <laughs> go wrong. But I mean, at least you know exactly what needs to happen. All right. And if we to inspire young people, of course, uh, the class of 2010, who are going to decide what to do with their lives next year, what would you say? I would say, and I, and I know it's a cliche, but you have to follow your heart. 
there is no there is no real reason why you should try and push yourself into doing things that you don't ultimately have a passion for. Yeah. Because you will ultimately, at the end of the day, not make a, a success of it. Yeah. You have to follow your heart, even if it's going to mean having to be an actor or a musician, and maybe you'll starve for the first couple of years. But you know, if it's really your passion, you will be better at it, and you'll you'll push harder, and you'll make a success of it. You leave on the fourth of January. Yes. Bless you, bless you. We're certainly going to miss your work ethos and just your generous heart and your, your laughter and uh, wit. We're definitely going to miss you, but we wish you all the best. Thank nice. you very much. Thanks Thank so much. Dupi, comrade sweetie darling. That was Dupriya Strauss speaking about the South African production of Disney's Lion King moving to Singapore. He'll be departing on the 4th of January, but he has been uh, a very uh, strong force and an asset for Sunrise, uh, and we'll, we'll certainly miss him. Yeah.